Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series, and in this sub series, you will learn how to create app.config file, then how to place application settings into this app.config file. Later, we will read the uh, application configuration file and apply the settings to the application. So there are five support here. First, we will learn about the basics of application configuration. Then we will talk about the example that we create in the next three videos. Then on uh, video number three, we will learn how to create application configuration file and how to add sections into this app config file. Then we will see how to read application settings and finally we will see uh, how to read the application setting and apply the um, configuration based on whatever we read from the application configuration file. Alright, now we will proceed. In CH application configuration is controlled by app.config file so that's the name given to the configuration file so the extension is a config so this is the file name given during the design time at runtime you will be seeing your application exe name dot config .NET application uses specific hierarchy of the setting file. So app.config is the setting file and in .NET application or any box that supports .NET runtime follows a specific hierarchy and it will search for the settings in that hierarchy. So the first one that participate in the hierarchy is machine.config so machine.config is a system wide configuration settings for all the .NET application the .NET application may be a desktop application or it may be even a web application so machine.config file stays on top of all the configuration file that means whatever setting you find here will be applicable to all the application running in a specific uh, computer. The system may be a personal system or it may be even a server like a Windows server hosting some web application. .NET provides two sets of configuration file. So machine.config is the root and from here it will be divided into two routes all the web applications take settings from root.web.config file say for example you are having a windows server uh, let's say 2016 and this windows server 2016 is hosting some six or seven web application running under the IIS server let's state like that and root.web.config uh, provides settings for all these six websites so the settings that is provided here is common to all these deployed websites so here we are assuming that there are six websites that is deployed on this windows server 2016 and root.web.config supplies application settings for all these six websites. Settings for a specific application goes into web.config file. So in this route there is one more granular level of application web application settings that goes into web.config file that means we will be having six web.config files 
So there are six deployed application in 2016, at least in this example. And each website will have their own settings under the name called web.config file. So common settings for all the web application stays in root.web.config and settings that is specific to a particular website will be placed in the web.config file. So this left side route is for web application. Desktop application settings are in app.config file. So in this sub-series, we are going to deal with this app.config file. So you can even consider Windows Server 2016. It may be having some desktop application as well as web application. So there are one to n number of web application. The settings are common to all the .NET domain based application stays in machine.config whether it is a web application or desktop application. Then settings specific to a particular desktop application stays on app.config. So if there are 160 desktop application then there is a possibility of having app.config for all these specific application. So having app.config is not mandatory. So if application doesn't specify app.config then settings that is provided in the machine.config will inherit to the specific application. The settings in lower level config file will override settings in the top level config file. So if you see here, let's take the left uh, route. Here, this is at the top level, level one. And here it's level two. And level three. So settings in the lower level config file, that means web.config file, override settings in the root.web.config and whatever is found in root.web.config will override settings in the machine.config file. Simply settings are applied top to bottom manner. Let's say we have some security restriction to access a specific environment variable ev2. Let's say EB2 is not allowed to read, so that's specified in the machine.config. So app.config can override that, stating EB2, I mean environment variable 2, can be read for a specific application. So app.config is for a specific application right in desktop. The same goes on the left side route as well. Alright, so here. In this sub-series, we will learn about app.config and we will see how to create configuration sections in app.config. Then we will see how to read those settings and apply to our uh, desktop application. That's all here in this uh, video. There is no demo in here. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye.